and um, Coldplay has an album coming out called Ghost Stories. Why do I know about this? Um, I follow Coldplay. I don't listen to them a whole lot, but I always hope that one day they're going to grow a pair of balls and release like an amazing album. And they got close with Viva La Vida, I feel. Like it was a pretty good album. Um, they annoy me, but they're also one of my guilty pleasures. I, I do have a soft spot for them because they have a knack for really, really good melodies, which I think is, is extremely important. So I like Coldplay, but I don't love them. So their new album is called Ghost Stories, and um, it sounds like it's going to be more Kid A, like styled, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, like very slow and brooding and um, electronic. At least that's the impression I got from the first two songs that were released. So yeah, it's, for me, it's a good time for music. You know, I'm, I'm excited. I really want a, no, a new um, Noel Gallagher album, though. Who else? What else am, am I looking forward to or hoping for? Uh, David Gilmore from Pink Floyd is apparently working on a new record. Roger Waters from Pink Floyd is apparently working on a new record. Not together, though, which begs the question, why not together? So, I mean, these guys are lucky to still, you know, be loved and adored worldwide. You know, the demand for Pink Floyd is still pretty high. I, I still love them. Would love to see them, you know, do something together, but I guess they're too stubborn. Well, I don't think money's the reason they won't do it. You know, because if they got together as Pink Floyd, even though Rick Wright's dead, I really do feel like they could make a killing. Now, they don't hate each other. If you check out some stuff, they they did make up. You know, David played with Roger for The Wall. Um, they did a show together. They did a Pink Floyd thing together. You know, for Live 8. Um... It seems like they, they're in contact with each other. They keep in touch. If anyone here doesn't know the story of Pink Floyd, I think it's very fascinating. Uh, the drummer wrote a book that was extremely interesting. So... I, defi <clears throat> I definitely recommend reading that book. It's called Inside Out. No, it's not. Wait, is it? Now I'm confused. Hmm. Conflicting egos. Yeah, I would say Gilmore is the one who doesn't want this to happen now. I think Roger would, would do a Pink Floyd thing. It's just Gilmore is like, fuck it. I just don't think he sees a point to it. I mean, Waters was the one with the big ego, but now um, I think that's pretty much chilled out a bit. It seems like he's more amicable. Someone in chat just said, um, you will never see Queen in their prime. Don't get me depressed, seriously. I saw Queen with Paul Rogers, and that's just... It was like, oh, great, Brian May, I love Brian May. Roger Taylor, he's cool, like his drumming. And then Paul Rogers was like, you know, all night long, baby, what's all night long? Crazy little thing called love. It's like, I know Paul Rogers, you're good. You you sing blues. I I like that when you do it well. But you you're not Freddie Mercury. Get the fuck out of here, man. It was all right. It was a decent concert. It it was it was fun, but it we could have been, you know. There was no Freddy. 
Queen is your favorite band, huh? This guy wants to be a prick. Okay. Reach him from here, man. What do I think of the final cut? Um, the final cut is actually one of my favorite Floyd albums. I get a lot of shit for saying that, but um, there's a lot to like on that album. It, it's. All right, it's not one of my favorite Floyd albums. Like I have, you know, so many. I I, <laughs> I like it about as much as I like Adam Hart Mother, and I do like Adam Hart Mother. So it's it's hard to say. Final Cut is like a really really good Roger Waters solo album. Again, sorry if I'm boring anyone who's not into Pink Floyd and you know rock music in general. But yeah, there are moments on the final cut that are extremely good and extremely emotional and um, really, really well-written lyrics. You can tell they come straight from the heart, even though at that time Roger was being a bit cunty, but yeah. Animals is just, I mean, that album is a whole nother level of amazing. I agree, Dr. Froman. The lo the wall live in Berlin. Um, yeah, I saw that. I didn't I didn't like it, Catherine. I, I thought it was okay. I mean, I'm I'm forgiving with stuff. I can always see the good, but. Um, that was another Waters ego fest, you know. He was like red hot at that time. That was when he was like at his worst. I didn't think he sounded that great. I didn't like his guest stars. I didn't think the performance, you know, with the wall was all that amazing. It was just, I don't know, it was just subpar, I guess. Muse was fun. I saw Muse live. Um, I remember, like, going on stream after I saw them, and I was like, I didn't like it. And the reason I said I didn't like it is because they seemed like machines. Like, everything seemed like just this well-rehearsed, well-oiled, like, rock machine. They seemed so, like, unreachable as performers. I know that's weird. I know that's really, really, really weird. Because I love Muse. Well, wasn't a huge fan of the second law. But it was alright. 10 out of 10. It, it was okay. <clears throat> but yeah, when I saw them live, I just... I enjoyed it again. But, like, they had, like, metal clothing on, and they were on top of these big pillars... And, uh, there... I mean, I didn't hear any mistakes or improvisation. It just... 
seemed like they were kind of going through the motions being a big arena rock band and um i don't know i don't know i'm i'm weird i'm really weird Gold Waddle Dee from Kirby Squeak Squad. Animal Kirby? Okay. Guitar dubstep. Yeah, no, I'm good on that. Apparently, Muse is going back to basics. Apparently they're just their next album is going to be more guitar, bass, drums, vocals and that's you know and piano of course Matt plays a lot of piano but if if that can be believed I don't think we're going to be hearing too much dubstep on Muse's next album Also Radiohead I would like a new Radiohead album right about now it's it's been it's been a while since we had one, and uh, it wasn't even that great. It was all right. Everything's just all right tonight. Sorry about that, guys. I don't want you to seem like that's that's the only opinion I ever have on anything. There's like four songs on the on the album that I liked, and the rest of it was kind of. I, I think they're working on a new thing right now. Actually, Radiohead. They might be in the studio. Tool's been working on an album for like seven years, so... I like Yellow, Kirby fan. In Rainbows is is really one of my favorite albums ever. And then King of Limbs apparently they just didn't want to spend years in a studio. They wanted to do something quick. So, that's what they did. Oh, yeah, Zardica. I really I really like Radiohead. I don't love everything Radiohead does. But I, I think they're a, a very good band, and I, I enjoy them. The Benz is great. That, that album is just great. In Rainbows is great. Some of Kid A is amazing, but not all of it's to my liking. Oh, this, this boss is just going to be a joke, huh? Killing with flowers. Oh, hey, KY. KY heard me talking about Radiohead, and his, his sensors went off in his head. He was like, I gotta get in there and talk about Radiohead. But Radiohead got their name from a Talking Head song. And that brings me to the Talking Head. Some of you know, I've been on a bit of a Talking Heads kick. Or I was for a little while, at least. That band is just phenomenal. The Mystery Skulls. I don't... <laughs> do, do I seem like the kind of guy that would hear of a band called the Mystery Skulls? I'm kidding, I'm just busting your balls. I have no idea what that band is. No, I need the wheel. Oh, shit. Maybe there's more wheels? I think I remember seeing one. I like a, a band called the Band of Skulls. But I don't know Mystery Skulls. I'm full of, of useless rock trivia.
I don't care. I'm getting... Oh, no. Yes, I can do this. I can do this. I can cheat! I... Yes, I cheaped it out. We have a mystery skull song on the AP? Really? I don't know which one that is, actually. I haven't watched the AP in, in quite a while. The AP has taken a life of its own. No, don't eat me. Oh. Okay. This is a pretty neat level. Damn it. It's this one. That's on our AP. Are you serious? I've never heard that song in my life. Maybe I have. I don't remember. Um, I showed Rupert the uh, This Is My Swamp video today. God help me. I didn't even look at the keychains I got. I was... I, fuck, I was so distracted. Sorry. Scary castle. I love the way these levels look. Seriously, these these levels are really, really great looking. itch, and I just kept walking like a dumb nuts. Whoa! For some reason, reminded me of Crumb from Our Real Monsters. Even though Crumb did not look like that at all. Just the way he hold. I thought he was holding his hands above his head. I guess he wasn't. This music is a bit clowny, isn't it? Oh god.
Wait, are you guys getting crackled? Oh, God. How is it now? This has been happening. How about now? Well, okay, it's it's gone. Let me know if it's still gone. Yeah, the problem is this cable is is very specific. AKG sells it, and only AKG sells it, as far as I can tell. It's for their headsets, and it's fucking like $70 for a cable. And this isn't like Best Buy gold-plated HDMI cable tier bullshit. You know, this is like proprietary propri stuff. But, yeah, I, I need to... I need to figure something out, because this is getting a little ridiculous. So yeah, question. I have a question for you guys. The um, shovelware video I made. I'm gonna be pretty much using like those graphics and those that music and you know the stuff I made, like the intro and everything. So for the next bunch of videos like that, it, it's gonna pretty much be exactly the same thing. Not exactly, but, you know, maybe little differences, maybe some different music. Oh, fuck. But, um, what I did, do you think it works? Do, do you think... Any suggestions for anything that should be changed? I guess Incoming doesn't like it. He, he put an eh in chat. Any suggestions incoming? More luchador. Uh, I think that mask is, is gone. Oh, these are spikes. What do you know? I should probably... Probably not... Uh, look at chat while I'm trying to platform. On the stair section, there's a secret door. Oh, wow! That's some shit right there. Nice. Thank you for that suggestion. No, I know all about the new Shack game. I, I don't... I don't really care too much, sorry to say. <laughs> I know people are, like, losing their shit over the new Shaq game. I... It's... Whatever. You know, I don't exactly immediately synonymize Shaq with video games. I don't even know if that's a word. 
but I don't care. I'm sure it's fine. The new Shack game? Oh my god, have you heard? Shagila Monster, O'Neela Monster. I want a Paul O'Neill video game. He was a baseball player on the Yankees. I think his game would be better than Shaquille O'Neal's game. Or Ryan O'Neal, who played Batty Lyndon. Evil ghosts, be gone. I understand that the Shack game is <coughs> more funny, excuse me, than it is like, oh man, a new Shaquille O'Neal game. I, I get that. But I'm not laughing. Ate like dinner. Or is one of these things not like the other thing? They all look exactly the same to me. I would imagine I have to do something in the background before this can work, right? Someone said spin direction? Not quite. to pull the curtain in the background. Oh. Oh, of course. I mean, you know, obviously. Now, I'm not a gambling man, but the law of averages say that one of those doors eventually was abound to, to be the right one. I think the game cheated me. I think the game is foolproof against idiots like myself. So there, is there anything going on in, in here? Or is this just like a fun little... I mean, they didn't have to design a whole room for no reason. I guess they wanted to. Oh, it's a boss room. Okay, that, that explains it.
guys, I think I just figured out what the name Triple Deluxe means. It, it, it took me all this time to figure it out. I'm sure some of you will be caught off guard by this, but you ready? 3D. Triple. D. Deluxe. It's just a fancy way of saying Kirby 3D. Triple Deluxe. Also, that piano had a really shiny tongue. And now all the geniuses that already figured this out are going to be like, Oh, wow, Vinny, it took you this long to figure it out. Secretly, they were like, Oh, that's pretty good. I didn't know that. You got a cooking keychain! And you got a magic Kirby keychain. Again. Ufo. Metal Kirby. I agree, Barf Eye. That's a nice name, by the way. Barf Eye. Um, will I stream the H-O-E-N with the, the Pokemon games? Um, maybe not. Uh, Joel called the Pokemon game in the forum that we use to call games. But I don't know if he's in the process of buying a 3DS capture card or if, if he's going to stream it with his webcam. <laughs> so... Um, I'm only time will tell. I'm not that big of a Pokemon fan. I don't have any nostalgia for um, you know Ruby and Sapphire because I never played them when I was younger. So I might I might not be interested even if they are available for me to stream. I don't think I don't think Joel was um I don't think he was making it up. I think he legitimately called the game, but I don't I don't think he has the means to stream it yet. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not really uh, feeling the Pokémon's. You know, I I stream Pokémon X and I did I did like it. Kirby, now is not the time to go to sleep. But I didn't do any of the extra stuff. In, um, in... in what the hell's the name of it? Pokemon X. You know, I, I did a, a few extra things, maybe like an hour of extra stuff, and then I gave up on it. But it was fun. I, I you know, we had a good time, right? I mean, people that watched it... I wasn't too hard on the game. I feel like I gave it a fair shake, and I actually ended up really, um, really having a great time. Just want to check and see if I missed anything over this way. See, there's a little guy in the background there, but I don't I don't think he's uh I don't think he's necessary for my advancement. Let's just keep going.
not a huge fan of Clown. I know it's gonna sound sacrilege, but the circus ability is... I don't know. It's, it's alright, I guess. There's a few interesting moves, but I think it's more um, style over substance, to be honest. Okay, this is cool. I like this part. For a 2D platformer, this game does have some really clever implementation of 3D stuff. See what I mean? Uh, I, I want it though. Why do I have to throw it away? I want it. I want it. I like it. Ah, uh, whatever. The game is like, no, let it go. You don't need it anymore, you see? You wouldn't have needed it. It is really crazy how expensive 3DS capture is. I mean, if you don't have, like, semi-disposable income at times, it's, it's not really... You know. It, it's, it's not that it isn't worth it, it's just... You, you really got to make good use of it. Oh wait, I, no, I want to crash. It was like th almost $300 to get that thing. Goodbye, block. Come on, come on, come on, yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, Billy Fuck Bulls. Anything I can do, you can do better. One of these men is not like the other men. Oh shit. No. I want that. Why couldn't Yoshi have level design this creative? The music was great. I mean, the music in this game so far has been, like, really, really good. But, um... 
Yeah. One day we might get a better Yoshi game. I mean, listen, guys. I was watching um, an E3 predictions video about Nintendo earlier. Kirby's Adventure Sword Knight. I just want to look at these real quick. Shocked DDD. <laughs> Moose Knuckle Joe. Cool. And, um, you know, some of the predictions were pretty, pretty basic. Some of them were pretty good. Um, you know, we forgot about Yarn Yoshi. Yarn Yoshi might be good. You know, it's, you just don't know, really. I mean, it could be a very good game. It could be the game that makes Yoshi cool again. I mean, Kirby's Yarn was hailed as, as having some really good art direction, but uh, it was just too easy. Maybe Nintendo will, will fix this somehow. I don't know. But the predictions were pretty much your, your basic, you know, Zelda. Um, I think it's it's pretty obvious we're going to see Zelda at this year's E3. Um, Hyrule Warriors, Mario Baseball. This guy that that uh, the video I was watching, I forget the guy's name. God damn it, I can't think of it. But he was talking about how we're probably going to see um, you know a remake, maybe a Mario Sunshine or Majora's Mask. So either. Sunshine HD or Majora's Mask 3D. Yeah, Hi oh! Hyrule Warriors is coming out in the summer for, uh, in Japan, so that means it's like almost done. What other predictions did he have? Um, F-Zero, he didn't mention that. He didn't mention Star Fox or anything like that. He didn't mention Metroid, which is sad. I mean, I, I don't think any of us are really expecting anything like that, unfortunately. Obviously, we're going to see X. I love Donkey Kong, but I swear to God, if there's a new Donkey Kong, I'm gonna I'm gonna shit myself. We don't need it. Like I said, you know, we have this franchise fatigue thing going on with with certain Nintendo franchises, and I won't say all of them because I don't want to be unfair. Like they do take long breaks in between some games. You know, even Zelda, we don't see. Like, maybe once every five years we get a Zelda game. Once every two years between handheld and console Zelda. So, but, you know, obviously, like, there are some things that we just don't need more of. Like, Mario's been working overtime lately, and it's just unnecessary, if you ask me. I mean, it, it's great. His games have been really good lately, but... Come on, give the guy a break. Let him play some baseball, and then let's not hear from him in like a few years. 
He'll be fine. See, that's the thing. I wouldn't even mind a once per console thing. You know what I mean? Like, every franchise once per console would be great. One Kirby, one Smash Brothers, like, one, um, one Yoshi, maybe two Mario games, one Zelda, but just while you're doing that, Nintendo, please give me one F-Zero and also one Star Fox. Just, mm, mm, come on, just do, do Star Fox 64, but just... Give me more and make it good. It's my design philosophy. Give me more, make it good. Online multiplayer, online co-op in Star Fox. There's your selling point. People will buy it. You know, give us quests. Stuff to add replay value. Stuff that, like, you can go on missions and do certain things. Like, certain levels have different bosses. Just... It would be fun. You know, you could do... Some, you don't need to do something completely, completely new. We don't need on-foot segments. For example. We don't need them. You know. What was that? Oh, I don't know how Metroid 2 Remake is going. They're gonna fix Wii U by releasing Smash Brothers for 3DS months in, in front of it. Yeah, don't get me started on that. I don't think it's gonna affect the Wii U sales that much, but it, it might have a bit of an effect. I am slightly worried about it. But, you know, pilot wings would be nice on the Wii U. I always love pilot wings, and it was nice to see a new one for the 3DS. But it was so short, and, um, I don't know. It seemed like it's just kind of half assed just to get it out for release. Like a full, like, awesome pilot wings game would be nice. But, you know, I, these are just my opinions. I, I think different people would have different ideas on what might make these franchises really good. But there's so many good ones. I keep saying that. There's so many good ones. You know, we just now got a Kid Icarus game a few years ago. And seriously, it was, it was awesome. Let's see one for the Wii U with better controls. Online. You know, let's... let's do it right, Nintendo. Kid Icarus could be another thing for you. Punch Out. I mean, we saw one for the Wii, which was great. I'll get one for the Wii U, maybe. That would be nice. What else would be great? I mean, you know, people say, well, why does Nintendo make new stuff? And I, I've given this argument before, but... They're an example of a company that has like, one thing for every genre. So they, in a way, don't need new franchises. They could just do new stuff with their old ones and sell better. And people would like it because brand recognition. So... Advance Wars? Where's that? We haven't seen Advance Wars in a few years. Or Battalion Wars? That was a really great franchise and it was new. I don't think it sold very well, but it was it was really fun. And uh, I think they could do a lot with it now that they have the power of the Wii U. And the gamepad could be used for, for divvying up troops. You know, strategy. There's a lot there. There's a lot of really good franchises. But right now, Nintendo is playing it very safe. You know, get Mario out, get Zelda done. Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, gotta focus on all the big selling stuff. Because the Wii U hasn't really been... 
it's been a bit PU lately in the sales department, at least. How about the remake? Yeah, I don't... I, Kyle, I'm not... I never played Pokemon, remember? It's cool, but like, you know, it's a remake. No, I agree with KY. I, I think they should be taking chances. That's what I'm saying. Like, there are great franchises that do stuff that can still seem fresh. Like, Kid Icarus Uprising almost was a new franchise. It felt like a brand new thing, because the Kid Icarus game that had proceeded was on Game Boy in, like, 1990. You know, so you got two games that were, like, 2D, and then out of nowhere comes this really, really great 3D iteration of the series. And it was, like, a brand new thing. They could do stuff like that, but we know that they're not the most insistent on creating new franchises unless we're talking about weird quirky shit like Captain Rainbow or Tamadachi Life and, and that's that's a shame because like KY said if you use Chrono Trigger or Bravely Default as an example without taking a risk trying something new you would have never had a game like that and that's another thing too like why are there not more Chrono games I mean they can't sell that poorly. I think there's a lot to that series. And yet, it's just Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy. But you guys know how I feel about Final Fantasy at this point in time. I'm not going to reiterate, because Appledoze is here and he's a fan. I don't want to upset anyone. or sound redundant. Now they didn't butcher the Chrono Trigger story in Chrono Cross, they just added a whole level of convolution. But you could pretty much just take that away, you don't even really... If you think about it, you could do a Chrono game and just pretty much ignore Chrono Cross. I mean, the whole game pretty much just takes place on a little island completely out of the way of every other part of the world. Smash on the 3DS is... You guys are talking about Smash on the 3DS. I'm going to get Smash on the 3DS. And I'm going to be streaming it. Oh, this is a cool one. I'm also going to get the Wii U version. Because, of course. But... The problem... That I have with the 3DS version is... Not that it exists, but that it comes out first. Part of the fun of Smash Brothers Melee and Brawl for me were actually going to the store and getting the things and having that excitement of like, oh god, the characters are this. Check out these new levels, check out these new characters, check out all this new stuff. And, like, you know, I can't tell you how excited I was to get Brawl, like, three days early. That was one of the best days ever. And it was an adventure, too. But, like, if, you know, I get the Wii U version, I'm pretty much just paying for the ability to play the game I already own with a better controller and with friends. You know, people that can, like, sit in my living room and play with me. And that's, that's a shame, because, you know, it, in a way, I know some people are going to want to hold up, hold out, rather, for 
the Wii U version, and they're not going to bother with the 3DS version. So, yeah, I agree. I think it's not a decision I fully understand or really care about, but as a streamer, as, as someone who wants to bring you guys the games that I love as soon as I can, so you can see them, you know, maybe you can see if you want to buy it, maybe you can see the features before you do buy it, or maybe you just want to see what it looks like because you're not buying it and you don't have the money for it or you don't have the ability to play it yourself. As that guy, as that Vinny, I, I have to buy the 3DS version. Not that I'm going to be disappointed with it, I don't think, but, you know, it's like, ah. Kind of saps the fun out of it a bit, is, doesn't it? I know I can dodge, I just forget that it exists. I'm a derp. I will dodge. See, the game is so easy at times that you forget the dodge mechanic even exists. Or at least I do. You know, I don't want to speak for everyone. But yeah, it's probably not my finest moment to forget dodging. No, no, no. Genus. It, it's just the characters, but listen, the gameplay, you know, the character moves. The characters are the huge draw of Smash Brothers. And, you know, the items are going to be the same as far as I can tell. Um, so, so, what's different in the 3DS version? The stages? You get a different mode with the 3DS version? Like that fun, you know, Kirby air ride type mode? Other than that, it's almost the same thing as far as I can tell. As far as I know. And I've done a little bit of research to the best of my ability. I've watched that video a few times. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't sound... Like it's going to be a completely different version. It sounds like it's going to be a little bit different, but I don't know. Once you've unlocked, for me, once I unlock all the characters in Smash 3DS, it's going to feel a little shitty. It's going to be like, oh, I guess there's no surprises left for the Wii U version. Just new levels and more music and stuff like that. Regality, don't you dare start with me. I brought you into this world. I can take you out just as easily. has been removed. That's good, at least. That's a step in the right direction. Tripping was the most pointless. I, I really... I didn't like it at all. And for me, the greatest offense was... And I I'm sorry if anyone here actually did like the tripping mechanic. But the greatest offense for me... <laughs> me, I had to sneeze. The greatest offense for me was that you couldn't turn it off. Tripping was great because it made Torny Fags mad. Well, I mean, Genus said that, I think, or someone said that just now. I don't agree with that being a positive of tripping, but uh, I suppose that works for you.
there's hate speech happening in the chat right now? Oh, wait. Well, I think he, they're being ironic. Someone just said, fuck you, faggot. Tripping is awesome. I mean, I don't necessarily... I wouldn't go about it, you know, like that. But I think he's trying to just be ironic. If there is hate speech, like, and people are just genuinely being cocksuckers, then, uh... Well, that, that was almost hate speech now, wasn't it? Well, if people are being cocksuckers, usually the mods are pretty good at kind of messaging them in private and telling them to stop. Uh, I haven't seen any hate speech. I think we're just having debates about Smash Brothers. <laughs> but that's just me. I think people overestimate how shitty the chat is. It's not quite as bad as some people make it out to be. How do you... You fucking what? Oh, right. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. ability is not the ability for this particular area. Okay, which ability do I want? Oh my god. I guess wing is fine. It's not very good with clown. What do you got for me? This bit reminds me of that really infuriating part in Cave Story where you could fuck up and lose Curly. What other moves does Wing Kirby have, anyway? Target Feather, Condor Head is Dash B. Down B during Condor Head. Uh... Please.
Oh. Oh. Boss Butch. Kirby's Dreamland 3. Sword Kirby from Nightmare in Dreamland. Okay. Boss Snake. Here we go. Wait, wait a minute. Why was my hammer destroyed? Uh... Is that a feature? Oh, I see. I pressed the wrong button. I used hammer throw. I'm, I'm a... Derp. Also, hello, Marissa. Happy late birthday. I, f I keep forgetting how close our birthdays are. God, please. This is a little crazy. I'm, I'm doing all right, but... Oh. Oh, okay. So this is happening. Did I even just do that? Oh wow, you can, I didn't know you could chain spear throws like that. That is wonderful.
can you two in the Twitch chat just kiss and make up now? If you can't, if you can't, do me a favor. Meet me in the principal's office after school, okay? Temp, I would say the game is so far worth the money, but it depends on how big of a Kirby fan you are. And now Kirby will be disgusted with his accomplishment. Ew! Oh no, it's just high today. Hang on a second. Let's see if, if it's Fierce Zero. You, you need a timeout. Okay, you've been timed out, son. For starting fake internet arguments with people. Endless explosions. Oh, that sounds like it's going to be real fun. I'm just curious. Is see if I've locked any other powers. Ninja. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten powers. I like how Clown isn't one of the abilities. It's like, fuck Clown, we don't need it. Yeah, I really like this game. Uh, I really like both of the games that came out. Both Kirby and Mario Golf are both very, very good games. I have my quibblings with both of them. They're not perfect. And uh, I have a few issues with Mario Golf. But, you know, over... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sorry. Overall, they're very good, though. Overall, I have to say I I'm very, very happy with my, my purchases.